there's a lot of interest in Framer, you know, and Framer is part of no, the no-code landscape and no-code is what we, what we use as the tool to produce the websites. So there's a lot of questions like Framer versus Webflow. When yeah. do you need Webflow? When do you need Framer? Is it easy to switch? You know, all, all of these things. So yeah. uh, then you have Webflow apps, which are sort of accelerating in terms of, you know, the whole library of apps, the whole portfolio of apps that are now available. What can you do with them? There's so many. You have from Zapier to everything, man, from, from the big ones like Zapier and HubSpot to, to the super, super niche ones that literally do one thing like convert an image to a SVG or something. Mm. I talked about this with Yar yesterday on the 20 minutes episode. And there are so many specific topics that um, potential customers could land, but you have to give them something specific. I, I agree. So you have to have landing pages where they find the information that they need instead of the generic, exactly. you know, the homepage of ELO5 and NOCO. That yeah. is a, such a bummer for me as well. Yeah. When I, I search for something. To your point about like uh, all the other stuff apart from Webflow, I mean, I was also talking to Kishan about this, and I think for Noco, uh, you guys should be at least as agnostic as Eli Five is. You know, we don't have a very specific tech stack that we leverage to build every application that we need to build. And I mean, you're also very convinced about this, I know. Um, it basically, Noco clients, some might need Webflow, some might need Framer. And I think there's also maybe some cases that just need, like they need this like creative development, like everything is highly custom with like complex transitions yep. and such. And maybe that thing needs to be developed in a custom way, you know, like in the end, it shouldn't matter. 